So this is the Helian O-Gauge AEC rail car. Um, what I've done is found the ESU Lock Pilot decoder it needs. Um, so Helian have wired in nine auxiliary functions on their model. Um, why they don't use the Plux range? Because that would have it as standard and you wouldn't have to go and find a very specialist decoder to, to run it. Um, I suppose that's a question for another day, but they're using the old 21 NTC, but uprated to more functions. So, we've got the lock pilot all set up. I've done the motor tuning to make sure it runs smoothly, because it uh, was quite juddery to start with. And I've also done all of the function mapping to get their functions to work correctly. So function zero puts on the twin um, lower light lights and that switches with direction. Function one turns on the top light. Again, I've set that up for directional control. Function two turns on the red tail lights. And once again, that is a directional feature. Function 3 I've reserved for shunting speed. Function 4 is the cab lights. I put a neon effect on it, I just uh, thought it would be quite different. Grabs your attention. And that was also a directional function. I've also played around with the settings so that it works when it's stationary and then turns out once you're driving. There's loads of settings on these decoders but you need a programmer to set them up which is the disadvantage so if they've gone to Plux you could do it with conventional uh, programming track programming rather than having to go out and buy a £150 programmer to do it. Just saying. And I've put a neon effect on the interior lights as well. So there's a lot going on in the model and it's a really great looking thing. I'll show it running on a longer bit of track, I just uh, got my little display piece at the moment just to talk about it. And um, we've got it all up at an excellent price as well on our website. So I've got the road car on a longer bit of track and we'll put the top lights on. I've set it so that the driver's cab lights only works when it's stopped and there's also a two second delay um, turning it off so it doesn't immediately go out as you drive it then just goes out I've left the acceleration fairly sensible but I've put a couple of features in so there is a half speed, a shunting speed on function 3 just cuts the speed in half and function 6 I have turned off the acceleration delays so if you want it to I think they call it direct drive basically it drives straight off the throttle then have function 6 operated with function 6 off it uses the acceleration delays so it will have a bit more inertia 